Continuing the relentless pace of training and practice flights to keep pilot and crew ready for combat, we're once again out on a practice mission, this time I'm leading in 403 with Smoke in 410 as my wingman. We'll sit out to the tanker and we'll get into some more practice ACM, this time focused toward defensive manoeuvres as well as an introduction to using the AWACS and Bullseye callouts. Two just saluted, so he's beaten me, never mind. Salute as well. It goes two. And off we go. Gear up, flaps up. Outer burner. So waypoint one. Alright, we are passing waypoint one, we'll head off now to waypoint one, two. Turning to waypoint two, climbing to fragged altitude. And for those who didn't know, if you zip the mic or zipper, that's a, a shorthand for acknowledgement. Alright, so now we'll climb up to 20,000 feet. Alright, there's waypoint two. Head on to waypoint three as we enter into the tanker track. Now the tanker's Takan is on the kneeboard 55 X-ray. Turn on air to air and on. Hit tanker. So we are 17, 18 miles away. Got two with me. So let's go catch up with our tanker. We have the tanker in sight now, just about 10 miles behind it, so I'm going to report in we are visual on tanker. On Texaco, switching channel 2 on COM 1 and standing by for check-in. COM 2. Ready. All right, we've got the correct frequency, so space bar one more time. Texaco, Springfield 7, 2 ship, 403 and 410, 10 miles behind you. Mexico, Springfield 7 1, Roger. Smoke, let's do it. Alright, so we'll head over to the tanker. We've got uh, just a nice top up before we go on to our mission. Let's get in touch with the tanker with tanker, intent to fuel. Mexico, 1 1, Springfield 7 1, request rejoin. Alright, so we've joined the tanker. I'm just going to chop down, set up to refuel. Fuel probe out. Set ourselves up nice and easily behind him. Let's come up a little and speed up a little. Let's ease it up. Not looking to rush it. Just slow controlled movements. There's two passing behind me. Not sure what he's doing. Right, I'm ready pre contact. Wait for the basket to extend. So we're getting a bit close to either you've stopped the power. Yeah, we were too close. So I've eased off again. Now let's line ourselves up with the basket and get ourselves some gas. Nice and simple. Work our way back in. Nice small movements. A little fast. And contact. You're taking fuel. Just hold this pose and get our gas. So I'm just working the throttle gently, trying to keep the position, trying to keep that corner on my HUD glass on the nacelle at the moment. 
whilst also trying to keep the aircraft in the same position. I'm drifting backwards, you can see from the tailplane of the tanker. So I'll push it forwards just a little, and ease back. Wait for the response, need a bit more, repeat. Repeat. Get a little low. So we're about where we want to be again. 9,400 pounds. Just keeping it steady. Keeping an eye on my reference points, I'm using the canopy bow so you can see I'm drifting down. Referenced by the HUD glass and the refuel nacelle. The and I'm using the tailplane to figure out if I'm too far forwards or back, so I've come forwards now. We're now drifting back slowly, but it's not a big deal. A little bit of throttle, push us forwards. 11,000 pounds. Almost done. Just keep it steady. Come forward some and let it go back just a little bit, that's too much. So a little power. Now drifting out of control, so let's just calm down a bit. So we're now oscillating forward and backwards because I've overdone the correction with the power. So we're just trying to ease ourselves out of that oscillation. We've drifted a little bit low, but that wasn't my priority. There we go, transfer complete. 13,000 pounds. Alright, we are done. So let's get two in on this. Two, your turn. Two. Set ourselves up to observe. This two comes in. What on earth is this tanker doing? It's come out of a left hand turn to a right hand turn. Alright, two has made contact. Smoke is taking fuel. So I'll wait for him to fill up, then we'll head on to our training area. And of course the tanker's doing another wiggle. Wonderful. I'm beginning to think he doesn't like smoke very much. It's giving us a slalom course. And we go, two is done. We'll head off to our next waypoint. Mexico, Springfield 7 1. We're pushing. Thanks for the drink. We'll say goodbye to Texaco and let's head off to our next waypoint. So as we approach waypoint 4, I'm going to go into an anchor and hold here. And Smoke is going to head off and he's going to separate, I think about 50 miles. I'm then to monitor on my radar NSA page his progress toward me. We'll get into a little bit of a defensive practice. So I'll get onto his tail, he's got to try and shake me, then we'll reverse rolls. And then I think that will conclude the training session. Magic, Springfield 7 flight with you in fragged position. 
There goes two on his cut. I'm going to maintain this position. Wait for him to get some distance. And then we'll begin our session. So the smoke is now passing to 60 miles. It's 59 now. And we should be beginning the radar training session any moment. There we go. Tapes on. Saws on. We're already in sim mode. So now we just start waiting for those radar callouts. Magic. Springfield 71. Commit. So there we go. You can see we've got 12940, and if we have a look, 131 here, 40, that's the guy we want just right there. We're using our bullseye callouts from Rock to locate our quarry. So let's bring ourselves nose on. He's passing by a second object just there. So one nose on. Let's reduce the radar scale. It should come into the top of the screen any moment now. Here he is. Yep, concur. Nothing uh, visual yet. So that's our guy. So we've got the bullseye coordinates up here, which is what we're using to identify them. We're using the reference point rock, which is set as our bullseye on the HSI. So we track him in. I don't know what this guy here is. But this here is smoke. So we'll just carry on toward the merge. Let's follow him in. Side pointer selected. There he is. Off with the radar. All right, he's gone vertical. Let's punch in the afterburners. Get into a position to shoot. Up, up. And Fox 2. Two, one, Fox 2. Continue. There he is. Stop that infernal tone. So I burned all my energy there to get to the top of the loop to fire, so now I'm stuck down low and slow beneath him. Keep it coming around, we'll just follow him in a, a lag pursuit. I want to keep my energy and get it back, so I'm just going to take it easy down here. Add a burner. Springfield 7 1, knock it off. What's going on? Springfield 7 1 copies. 2 1, join up. Let's go to Angels 15 and watch that bogey. Alright, to send to Angels 15, we need rock. I've managed to miss the call there. So we're to send down to 15,000. It's quite beautiful at this time of day. I think that's two coming to join back up. I'll slow down so he can catch me. I need to wait for another call out so I can figure out where the bandit is. Coming down now to 15,000. 
and we'll set up the intercept. That must strike. Send it. Monitor the bandit. Intercept if it continues on current heading or turns towards mother. Wait until it crosses Waterloo Red, though. Strike. Springfield 7 1. Monitoring. Cleared to intercept once the outlaw leaves Waterloo Red and continues flying south or turns west. Springfield 7 1. Magic. Magic, Springfield 7-1. Appreciate it. Alright, so we're in a really awkward spot here. We're almost in Waterloo Red, the no-fly zone, and the guy's just here. So, I don't know what to do here. We're going to just, I think, cut over, head east, see if we can't keep him on the screen. I'm just going to go back and forth and hopefully keep him in view. South, okay. I need a bit more power here. So that's 9530. We is now at 130. We can see the bullseye coordinates here of our cursor. So that bandit under our cursor is the guy we're tracking. It looks like we're all right. We can stay out of Waterloo Red by just going backwards and forwards. It is a bit, uh, bit awkward though. There's also the Hawk site, I think it's there, or that general area from the other day. Let's have a look. Yeah, we got the Hawk site on the RWR still. So yeah, I think that was it over there, so we don't want to stray too close. Looks like our friend has turned toward us a bit. A little bit off there with the call out. He's doing Mac one. Springfield seven one monitor. So he's doing Mac one at fifteen thousand. So he's in a hurry wherever he's going. I'm going to switch on my helmet sight again. Let's reduce the scale on the radar. So now about 20 miles out. so we can safely fly with him, he's left the no-fly zone. Let's drop the scale. Commit. Weapons hold. Just tag him. So where is he? Up there. Let's bring it around. Intercept him. Nine thousand closure if we head on here. Ten miles. Looks like his IFFing is hostile. Or no return, more accurately. But we've had, two, I think it's two sources. So we've been marked as hostile. He's still Mac 1, I really need to get the engines up. Let's see past this round here. So he's still faster than me. 0.8. There we go, we're about neutral speed now. Heading toward this bank of clouds. Come on, Hornet. Mag 1. 
Doesn't make it easy for us with this slow hornet. Okay. Forming up on him now, I'm going to report we are in an intercepted. Strike. Springfield 7 1. Holding hands with a bogey. Springfield 7 1. Strike. Roger. Request ID. So it's not a flanker and it's definitely not a frogfoot. So it has to be a fencer. Um, I think that's a mig. Strike one fencer. No, it's a Sukhoi. I think Sukhoi twenty-four. Roger that. Strike. Try and push him north. All right. Magic. There we go. Strike. Springfield 7 1. The bandit is changing course. Springfield 7 1. Strike. Stay with him. Springfield 7 1. Roger. Wilco. He's lit the cans again. This is really awkward actually trying to fly in formation with this guy. As I'm in the sort of awkward zone where I've got to have the afterburner on to keep up. And I'm fighting with my afterburner detent in order to maintain position. And he's not making it easy for me. Beautiful little livery though. What's he got? Two heaters per wing. ECM pod on the underbelly. Two fuel tanks. Looks like he's calmed down out of burner. Uh, fuel state is 8. So I think we are good for fuel. Springfield 7, ladder. Yeah, that's a roger there, Springfield. Texaco is sweet with a few thousand pounds to give. You can get a drink first, or RTB mother and switch marshal. We're launching Spartan 1 on cap. Springfield 7 1, roger RTB, switch in marshal. Right. Now, Marshall, if I... what was it? Mother is channel 4. I assume that's what they want me to go for. So, switch to 4. Wave goodbye our Iranian friend. And we'll head on home, I guess. See if we can't get a look at him. Alright, well let's break off and head on home. So, we need to come out of air to air mode. Yeah, probably. The Iranians aren't super happy having us around. We'll worry about them later. Now, better focus on recovery. It isn't going to be fun with these winds. We'll have Skipper and XO on the flight line. They'll do fine. Well, I wouldn't want to take away the fun from our XO. Alright, so let's see. We are 7,700 pounds. That should be plenty for going home. So, we have 10 and 2. Switch Marshall and stand by for check-in. Two is up on Marshall. Oh, I hate night landings. This is, uh, something I don't get enough practice at. Coming in now, 2.2 .2 miles. Just about on glide slope. And slowly slipping upwards.
Lineup's all right. We're going to come left just a little. We can see the deck just. And I've let myself get too high. Let's just drop down. I need to correct this now or I'm never going to be able to do it. Almost. Here comes the stressful bit. It's looking good. A little too much descent right there. And bolted. Yeah, I messed that up right at the end. I let myself descend. We have 6,500, so I'm good for another go. Uh, well, it gets your heart racing a bit trying to do this. And uh, it's pitch black out here, alright, so round we go again. those long range lineup lights are so incredibly helpful to get yourself right. Not to mention it makes it, you know, finding the ship and giving you a reference point is incredibly handy. So we're on our second attempt. I'm a little bit low on the glide slope so I'm trying to ease out the descent rate so we catch back with the glide slope. It should descend to us rather than trying to climb to meet it. Here we go again. The wind's kicking me around a bit here. This is not fun. <laughs> Alignment's bad. It's a bit better. Three miles to go. Getting a little high. She just wants to drift all over the place because of the wind. Come on, shimmy over. So the descent come up just a little bit. This is where your heart starts racing. And I've let myself climb a bit. Now I think I'm probably just going to go quiet and try and get this right this time round. Bingo. Bingo. Come on, please drop. Oh, okay, we're down. Lights off, flaps up. Fold the wings, release the hook, and let's taxi out of here. Now I can't see anything, so goggles on. 
Let's find ourselves somewhere to park. And as the storm worsens, as you might have guessed, this is the Knight of Spongebob's Barricade Trap from the book, and the total insanity that entailed. Fortunately for me, we don't have to go through that. With DCS still waiting for barricade arrestments to be implemented. With things heating up around Iran, I'll see you for mission free. I hope you enjoyed, and take care.